Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. T is all about templates, so let's jump in. There are so many different types of templates within the Dynamics 365 Marketing app, so it's really, really hard to go through any of them really in that much detail. So we'll just do a bit of an overview so you understand where they are, how you can create them and what you can do. So if we scroll down in the menu, we can see that there's a whole section of marketing templates. If I click and go into the templates, we can see those that have already been created by Microsoft and they've come as default as part of the app. So that's great. We can go ahead if we look at the email templates, for example, we can jump in and we can take a look and we can see all of the settings that exist for one of the templates. What we also have is the ability to look at the HTML of one of the templates. So we could actually go ahead and copy the HTML that's been used with one of the templates if we want to kind of like have that as a starting point rather than editing an existing template we can get the HTML and start from new and actually go ahead and create from a sort of a really good starting point. Now if for example let's say that I go into the page templates you can see that there are a ton of page templates Every time I create something, so if I go into marketing pages and I say I want to create a new um, marketing page, what we'll end up with is having to scroll through all of the templates that are already there to try and find what we're looking for. If I go back then to these page templates, so let's go in and let's say that actually there's only a couple that I use. I'm going to go ahead and select the ones that I don't actually want and we will leave the ones that we do want. So if I just keep on selecting all of these ones and then from the top I can go ahead and I can click deactivate. So I'm deactivating 22 of these marketing page templates and I'm leaving it with the ones that I want to use or any custom ones that I've created that are branded for my organization. If I now go back into the marketing pages area and click to add a new one now it's a lot easier to see exactly what I use and I don't have any of those default ones that came as part of the marketing app. So it just makes it a little bit easier to manage. Also a good idea to be using the different fields that are available because we can use these as filters and we can actually scroll down and say, okay, well, what type of filter is it that we're using um, to be able to find and search for these templates? Another thing is if you've got different templates for different parts of your organization, maybe slightly different brands, is to prefix them with the name of the brand. So again, you can use that as part of your searching. So with this, if I put in the word product, I'm going to be left with the two that include that in the name of the page template. Okay, so like I said, we've got all of these default ones that come with the app, apart from in three different places where we do not have templates that have come as default. And that is the call templates, the task templates and the appointment templates. Now I've got one that I've got set up, um, but what that means is if you create a customer journey and one of the blocks that you want to add in is to add a phone call or add, a, sorry, create a phone call, create a task or an appointment, if you don't ever come and create those templates, you will not be able to use that, those blocks. So good idea to jump in and think about what sort of um, how you want those calls to be um, set up or the tasks or the appointments and make sure you create those templates as well um, just so that you don't get to the journey and then you're stuck because you don't have a template to pull in. So definitely get used to using the templates. A um, couple of other things to keep in mind. If I go to, let's say we go to create a marketing form and we click new Again, we are going to be prompted with the um, list of templates that exist. If I skip and I say, don't do that, one of the things that you might notice is there will be certain things that might be required. So this will sit here and spin and spin and spin. And to be honest, it's not that obvious because you just think maybe it's just waiting to load. It is actually telling us the form type is missing. Choose a form type from the drop down list. So, until we do that, we will not be able to go ahead and create our marketing form. So, I now need to say, okay, we're creating a landing page. As soon as I do that, then we can go ahead and get started. So, just something to keep in mind is 
You can skip and you don't have to pick a template, but if you don't, just make sure you read through the messages of what it's telling you so that you fill out any required fields if they are needed. All right, so again, T is for templates. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.